All right, guys, first thing we got to do is to clean out this fish tank. We're getting ready for our ebb and flow aquaponic system. So as you can see, the first thing I got to do is get all these old things out. And, uh, and we got to start cleaning up this fish tank. guys so the fish tanks all cleaned out and what we got to do now is clean the stuff that's gonna go in the fish tank you don't want to just put stuff in there and add water and fish because the fish could die from whatever's left over on the the gravel or the ornaments that you're putting inside the fish tank so we have this bucket of gravel it's this blue gravel it's um, it's really dirty and it looks like it just was taken right out of the fish tank when this was used so what we want to do is we want to rinse that out and make sure everything's good and clean before we put it in there. So let's go to it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm stirring this up and using the rocks to grind the dirt off of each other. All right, so I've got the gravel all nice and cleaned out. Now, whenever I'm setting up a fish tank or anybody setting up a fish tank, the most important thing is before you start putting stuff in there, make sure it's where you want to keep the fish tank. You don't want to be moving it around because it'll be too heavy to move afterwards. Now remember, we're setting up our aquaponic system over this fish tank. And right now I'm just setting up the tank itself so that it could be ready for our ebb and flow fish, our, uh, our ebb and flow um, aquaponics, okay? And so right now I'm gonna put the gravel into the fish tank and, um, and then I'll get back with you, okay? gravel is in there uh, the next step is to add any decorations we want to add so I got my dragon and I'm gonna move the gravel 
gravel around a little bit so it's the way I want it to look. Got a little too much up front, so I'm gonna move it in the back. Now, now we're gonna add our water. So, I've got this water. But now remember, when you're working with animals, you're working with fish, we're creating an ecosystem here. And the fish are gonna eat food and they're gonna poop. And then that poop is gonna become poisonous for the fish. But we need some bacteria that's gonna break down that, um, that poop so that the, it's no longer poisonous for the fish and actually becomes food for our, uh, our plants. And when we do that, uh, we need to add in the bacteria, especially when you're starting off a fish tank brand new, you need to add in um, the bacteria. So, all right, so I got some of this quick start. It's actually, um, it's filled with the, the essential bacteria that your fish tank needs to get started. So you gotta make sure you have this in the fish tank. So we're gonna add, uh, following the directions, I believe it is add for 10 gallons. So we need about a cup full of this. This is about a 15 gallon tank. So I'm gonna fill one and a half cups of this bacteria in here. And that'll get us going. And now it's time to add the water. Before we add any more water, a couple things I forgot to put in was this is a, uh, an air pump. Now remember, uh, we need to get air into this water in order for it to not drown the roots and, and just to make the whole system work better because um, even living things underwater need air. And so we're going to add this, it's called an air stone. So when I plug this in and I bury this in the rocks or the gravel, that's what's gonna give us our, our air bubbles. And then we also need to make sure that we add our, we need to add a heater. And because that's one of the things I ran into with my other fish tank was in the winter time, it gets really cold. These are tropical fish and they need the water to be warm. So um, if it gets too cold, they need some way for the uh, water to heat up. So I've got this heater, and then we also need to put on our filter. Now the filter, this is only going to be working for us while we're setting up the system because eventually the plants will be the filter. So this is only going to keep the fish surviving before the plants get installed. So. I'm gonna put all this together and I'm just let the video run and you can watch me do it. All right, here we go. In order to make this work, I gotta add my backdrop before I put my filter in. is because no one wants to look at all these ugly wires behind the fish tank. So the backdrop hides all these ugly wires. 